Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a different one, doing it inside. Alright, hi, my name is Barry Selby, welcome to my broadcast, this is number 514. And today's topic is about women supporting women, and in particular the WISH Foundation, or WISH Organization, which I'll get to in a moment. Before I begin, let me introduce myself, my name is Barry Selby, I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women attract and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, and every day for the last almost two years, I run these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. So today was close to my heart, and actually today I was shooting pictures, hence my camera gear. Um, and today's event, as I was at, this is Sunday by the way, was basically organized by a friend of mine, Kathleen Ronald, who basically has been through her own journeys, and created this, this foundation, this organization to help women support women. There's an app and everything else, and I can give the links afterwards. But I want to speak to the idea about women supporting women. There's been a lot in the conversation lately I've had with some friends that, have, to be honest, triggered some stuff for me. Because I've been feeling this feeling where, as I mentioned before, how women, in previous talks, how women have been trained. In fact, I did a series two weeks ago called The Masculinization of Women. How women have been trained to act like women. Sorry, it's how women have been trained to act like men. Get that right. And so their focus has been to um, compete and combat and be better than and succeed over somebody else's choice and that to me doesn't work so for me there's been a distinct um so i'm watching other people do stuff here so there's been a distinct realization that women have been shifting and i've seen this happen more often in corporate as well as in well she's most much just more in the entrepreneurial arena because not so much in corporate but entrepreneurial arena where women are seeing other women as friends and collaborators and support systems versus contrasting, combative, and competitive. And that's a positive shift. What I'm watching happen, and by the way, in case you haven't seen the view, this is where I am, is in Malibu, which is a pretty amazing view with the water and everything behind me, just to get a quick glimpse of that. I'll do a quick walk around later on, before the end of the broadcast. Um, what I'm aware of is how much women forget that they have support for each other how much women can support each other in business, in life, in friendship. There's always been that sort of crying on your, fr your woman's friend's shoulder when you go through a breakup and everything else, but not so much in business. And realization that things happen, life happens, challenges happen. And so listening to my friend Kathleen's talk earlier today, um, as part of the event, I've been here all day since, since about 11, 30 no noon today, actually earlier than that. The event's been about this thing called WISH, which is Women in Support and Help. To help each other when you go through challenges, because ladies, you go through challenges. And to have a structure like that, an organization like that, is a profoundly powerful op opportunity. And again, I'll put the links and everything in the comments afterwards. And I came along because she asked me if I shoot pictures, because I still do that once in a while. Beyond my coaching, I still do shoot photography. But I'm really passionate about helping women in their lives. And seeing women network and connect with each other really warms my heart, because it feels like there's a distinct up leveling happening, a change happening, women realizing that other women aren't taken away from them. There was the paradigm, which still happens for some people, some women, where there's a feeling about women are going to take away from other women. Like you're going to steal my man or you're going to steal my job. It's like, no. Remember, you can help each other, honor yourselves and each other. A sidebar slightly, if you feel like a woman's going to steal your man, maybe your man isn't, is not the man for you anyway. He's stealable. Just an idea. So I'm just putting a little plug in, really. Today's broadcast is going to be short. It's because I'm, frankly, I'm exhausted. It's been a long day shooting pictures and hanging out with my friends, and I want to stay connected to the party. But I want to just talk quickly about women supporting women. Again, I'll put the links in the comments because I feel like this organization, if you're a woman, you might want to get involved with. And for me, there's such a need for this in the world because women, ladies, you've been out in the world doing a lot of stuff on your own, and to find support from other women, both in business and in personal health and support, is a missing element that you really need. So... This is a short broadcast. I'm not really have much to talk about it beyond that to say that how much I love this and how much I appreciate this women supporting each other. So I wanted to do a quick, quick plug and promotion and a reminder of that, that ladies, in your lives, particularly in health and in business, it's okay to be supported by other women, by other collaborators, not so much in business partnerships, but more about farming things out or helping each other out or offering recommendations, support for each other. I mean, we men can do the same thing, frankly. We can step up a whole other level. <laughs> we men definitely have room to grow in the area of being in collaborative and cooperation with our brothers and our sisters. 
to be able to step up and ask for help and welcome it. You know, I'm grateful that I'm working in the printing company, the publishing company that, I, that I'm partners with with my friend, my coach, Mia. We have a partnership that works because we're friends and we're also supporting each other in the business and we bring our skills to the table that are additive to each other, not subtractive. And that's a big plus. So my, my invitation to you is look around for people you know that you can trust. Create circles of trust around you for business, for health, for friendship, for social support, for counseling even, where you get the support you need for what you want. Working, doing it alone, being an entrepreneur, being on your own, which I've done a lot myself, can really be challenging at times. And having the opportunity to be with friends, to be supportive and supported, is a stretch for many people, because a lot of us aren't trained to receive very well. And I'm a passionate um, student <laughs> of learning how to receive support. So I'm grateful for the fact that there are people supporting me, and I'm also grateful I can support other people. And this WISH organization, this organization I've been at today, the event I'm still at, which I want to go back into, is really about that. It's supporting each other, helping each other, and being there for each other because we need each other. And with the division that's happening in this country right now, yes, I talked about it yesterday, the division is happening because of what's happening with the, with the shooting yesterday, and things that are happening. There's a lot of pieces of the puzzle that have been shattered, and people don't necessarily know they can rely upon each other. So my invitation to you, my assignment, my homework assignment to you, is reach out to the people you can trust. Friends, collaborators, support systems, caring, resources that can help you get where you want to go. This, for me, is what is part of the future, is finding out about how we can be camera, camera, comrades and camaraderie and friendship and support for each other, assist each other. Referrals for business, referrals for how to get your business going. If you have ideas about, you know, better health practices, that sort of stuff as well. I've been learning a lot of things recently from different people who give me great resources that I can help other people with. Besides my coaching, which I offer, there's other things I can help people with health now that I didn't know before because people give me referrals. And that for me is a, is a little slice, a little nuance, a little indication of what's possible. So that's really what I want to say, just simply that we can support each other and it's time to do that. It's a short broadcast, I know it's only been like eight minutes, nine minutes, but I want to show you the view. <laughs> so hang on a second as I switch the camera. All right, let's go for a walk, shall we? See this amazing view. Ah. This is the the land, the um, property I'm standing on in Malibu, right by the ocean. I mean, right above the ocean. Let me go this way around behind this this block. This is pretty damn nice. Quite a sunset we've got coming up. I'm not going to show pictures of the people because they're doing their own thing, but I want to at least show you the view. So. Oh, great. Thank you, Anna Maria. I appreciate that. Yes, it's something we need to do more and more. So with that, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go back to the party. I've still got pictures to shoot. <laughs> and I'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Join me then for a regular broadcast of Messages for the Masculine number 514? 515. Thanks very much. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.